relationships with God, relationships with people, all this part of the renewal. Any other things that you, you in, that come to your heart and mind well, uh, and, and being personally renewed yeah. as a leader? I, I, this is really silly. Uh, but, Sammy, I get renewed through my family. When I get to hang out with my kids and my grandkids and my wife, when we just do those family things, I love it. I mean, it's, yeah. to me, that's just fun. Because the grandkids, especially, grandkids I tell great. you what, man. Uh, you know, and of course, uh, just yesterday, of course, this is being recorded <laughs> right now and will come later. But uh, we, we had our first grandson born. But, <laughs> well, I, we have two little granddaughters, and I tell you what, I can feel beat up yeah. and knocked down. And you know what? Those little girls just love me. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what I've done wrong, and no matter get, if I failed, you know. <laughs> and you get to love them, you yeah. get to spoil them, and then send them home. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the best part of it. And, and I find my family does does refresh me a lot. One okay, of the other but things. There, there's guys that really struggle, and I've seen this, guys who, I mean, love God, and their families are not there. You yeah. have anything to say to them? About, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I know guys, I mean, who really walk with God, and um their wives weren't there. Or I know guys who um, maybe have neglected their wives, yeah. and that's not why. Yeah. Th that's why they're there, or, or whatever. So, you have anything briefly to say? Well, to I'm kind of going into rewind, but I would pray for every man to find a Jonathan. Uh, David had a Jonathan. He had a Nathan that looked mm -hmm. him square in the eyes and said, "You're the man." He had a Saul that was a pain in his life, but he had a Jonathan. And one of the things, especially when we get to men. Men sometimes trip on this thing of of uh, having a relationship with another man that they can be blunt with, honest with, that they can just simply say, man, I'm tanking, I'm going down. This ship may not be able to float much longer. And I would pray, it, it's, I mean, I'd pray for every one of our guys that's listening, and, and maybe even a woman that's listening, that you, God would lead someone to you that could be the Jonathan in your life, that would just love you and, and affirm you and encourage you and, and have that level of friend. Sammy, you've been many times a Jonathan to me, and we've had some great, great times and being able to pull off somewhere for a couple days together and, and to do that. And, and I just pray God would give lots of people um, to each of us and to everyone just that's watching this whole thing, somebody that would be a replenisher of energy. Okay, one more question, and, and sure. we'll, we'll, we'll head down this road and, and, and tie this up. What about the person and the work of the Holy Spirit in the life of a oh, leader? Oh, my. Um, the tank's got to be full. And, uh, Sammy, one of the things that, that I've come to understand is the need not only for that point of yieldedness and surrender. And in our heritage, that's, that's a big deal in the heritage I come from. I think sometimes we forget about that to the point of the exclusion of walking daily, being filled with the Holy Spirit and making sure there's no sin in your life. Sometimes tiredness and fatigue comes from sin. There's just some stuff that we've not dealt with. There's residue, there's unforgiveness, there's bitterness, there's our thought life is not being clean and pure and holy, there's pride, and sin has a way And there's 20 roads I could have just gone down. <laughs> yeah, it can fatigue us. Yeah. And we don't know that it's really sin because sin comes so... It's, it's subtle. Such a, oh, it's yeah. subtle, so subtle, and yeah. we don't know it. And so coming to the place where we experience not just the emotion of the fullness of the Holy Spirit, I think sometimes we're more in love with the experience uh, of being filled than we are just walking and loving with Him every day. And so I would challenge people to continue to have the, the Spirit-filled life and to resist the urge to do it in your own strength and in, in your own power. Sammy, I've reached points in ministry where I want to just quit. I mean, I want to throw in the towel. This thing is hard. It's, this isn't what I signed up for. I didn't sign up for complaining people. I didn't sign up for critics. I didn't sign up for long hours and low pay. This is not the low pay I signed up for, but the rest <laughs> of it I didn't sign up for. And sometimes what I really have to come to grips with is what I need is a brand new touch of God's Holy Spirit on my life and then maintain that as a relationship. Yeah. When the tank gets empty, we need to be filled. You know, my experience, and this is just purely my experience, has been that you, you go through a, a, a time of growth and walking with the Lord and then God brings you to a, some kind of critical yeah. moment, a critical point where you have to be broken deeply Right. And that breaking, that deep breaking takes place. And then there is this, this fresh wave of the Holy Spirit mm. that flows across your life. Then you need to live that out, as you're exactly. saying. And you do that. But then you're going to come to a, another point. I think what happens sometimes is people 
experience the fullness of the Holy Spirit and to think, oh, that's it, that's man. It. Uh, Coast it, on it, through it, to the finish but, but line. <laughs> right, and, 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 it, and, and, and it is it for right now. Right. But, uh, and, you know, and, but then you've got to learn to walk daily. And there's, but he's, you're going to come as you grow. Uh, you, you can't grow without being broken. Jesus said that uh, you bear more fruit by being pruned. And, That's and, and, James 1. Yeah. The whole thing, the trial of your faith is going to develop in you those things that are going to just take you further in your growth with him. And, and this is what I have found about, um, I, I think, a lot of leaders. A lot of leaders want to go from one level to the next level yeah. without the breaking process yeah. and the fullness of the Spirit. And, and it's just impossible to do. And if you're going to keep going from faith to faith and grace to grace, then uh, you, you can't do it the same exactly. old way. There's got to be some brokenness. Exactly. It's that thing of testing. One of the things we taught here in this session is the 10 different type of tests we have to go through. And those tests can be the way that God takes us up to the next level. Yeah. And, um, and, and you know, I, I've just seen so many guys who've gone so far. And, and I don't, you know, all the guys you hear about who fall, yeah. I don't think they said, Mom, I'm going to go and do this. You know, none of them started off that sure. way. They love the Lord, I believe. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, I, I know a couple, I mean, who I genuinely believe loved God, but they came to a place where they didn't allow that breaking process, that pruning process to take place and the Holy Spirit to fill them and to take control of some areas because the whole of the Christian life between now and the time I die, I have but one goal and that's to be like Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not to do the big conferences and the most conferences, but it's to be like Jesus Christ. And so uh, th that's so important. Dave, I, I really appreciate it. you have any final word you'd like to just say to those who are listening to, to this broadcast before we close? You know, I do, Sammy. And I think to those that are listening, my heart would simply say what it teaches us in Galatians 6. Uh, it says, be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you'll reap if you faint not. And you may be tired and fatigued and ready to toss in the towel and say, man, I, this is not what I wanted. This isn't what I signed up for. But I believe more than ever, God through His Holy Spirit can give you a brand new touch of, of His Spirit upon you. Sammy, I was nearly the casualty of ministry. Reached that point where I was sick, I was tired, I was done. I didn't like the people, didn't like the church, didn't like anything. And it was like God said, I'm going to take you down to where I'm going to break you. And then I can fill you and use you. And I pray for my friends that they would be able to experience this brand new touch of the Spirit of God as they seek Him with all of their heart. And say, I mean, we're kind of back to where we started. Mm -hmm. Where you talk about seeking Him spending those times alone and in those times god can do that filling i hope that you'll take some time and then i just want to challenge you as we close to take some time and get alone with the lord this week and meet with him and let him do that Amen. deep work in your heart and in your life thank you for uh joining us here for renewal uh we'll be here next week again at the same Amen. time and by the way if you want to write us uh, you need uh you've got a question you got a comment something you'd like to share with us something you'd like to ask us about, feel free right there on your screen, R-E-N-E-W-A-L at SammyTippett.org. That's renewal at S-A-M-M-Y-T-I-P-P-I-T dot O-R-G. If it's a podcast, you're listening to this, a, a video webcast, you're watching this, uh, be sure and tune in next week. We look forward to seeing you. God bless you, Dave. God bless you. Thank you so much, Thanks, man, Sammy. for being with us. Okay? God, God bless. bless you.